Tesla is definitely the undisputed leader when it comes to electric vehicles. However, Volkswagen Group is mounting a strong EV offensive. Will Volkswagen and the Volkswagen Auto Group overtake Tesla as the EV leader? I'm Jonathan and welcome to Cleaner Watt. In this video, we're going to dive into what each of these companies project for their future growth. And then we're also going to examine the battery supply and cost constraints because batteries, of course, will hold back an electric vehicle manufacturer. We're going to use all this data to determine whether or not Tesla is going to be able to maintain a lead with large companies like Volkswagen, who have a large manufacturing presence, if they're going to be able to maintain this lead with competition like this. In all reality, Tesla is still a very small manufacturer, especially when you compare them to the Volkswagen Group, a huge auto manufacturer that is a market leader. However, despite Tesla's disadvantage when it comes to size, they've still maintained a huge lead in electric vehicles, and I believe they will continue to. On August 15th, Clean Technica put out an article with the headline that Tesla had delivered 28% of the world's fully electric vehicles in the first half of 2020. In this article, they showed this graph where Tesla was able to deliver just over 179,000 electric vehicles in the first half of 2020 as compared to the Volkswagen Group, which we'll talk about in a minute, which was able to deliver 64,000 plus electric vehicles in the same first half of 2020. In past videos, I've done tons of comparison between VW and other companies and Tesla when it comes to technology, when it comes to software and efficiency, and all the factors that go into a good electric vehicle. However, for this video, we're not going to dive into those aspects of comparison, but rather we're going to dive into each of the company's projections, and we're also going to dive into the battery supply and costs, because really I believe that's one of the big key advantages and what could hold back each of these manufacturers. Volkswagen has put a lot of investment into electric vehicles, and they have launched some pretty amazing vehicles over the last several years. Besides the low-volume e-Golf and e-Up, VW has recently launched their new all-electric compact SUV, the ID.4, and also recently their electric hatchback, the ID.3. Also in the coming years, VW will launch their ID Buzz, their micro bus, the ID Vision, which will be a bigger sedan, and also the ID Rooms, which will be a full-size SUV. On top of all that, when you zoom out and look at other brands within the Volkswagen Auto Group, there's the Porsche Taycan, there's the Audi e-tron, and they also have plenty of EV plans for some of their global brands like Skoda and Seat. According to this Inside EVs article, here's what Volkswagen plans to deliver in the future. These are their future projections. In 2025, they plan to deliver around 1.5 million battery electric vehicle sales by the Volkswagen brand and roughly 3 million battery electric vehicles by the Volkswagen Group. Also, by 2028, they plan to have delivered 28 million battery electric vehicles cumulatively by the Volkswagen Group. Tesla has also made a lot of future projections, and they also have some very exciting electric vehicles coming out in the future, and they're also producing a lot of amazing vehicles right now. Here's Elon Musk at Battery Day talking about Tesla's future and how many vehicles he believes they will be able to deliver. I mean, long term, we, you know, we want to try to uh, replace about you know, uh, at least 1% of the total vehicle fleet on Earth, which is about 2 billion vehicles. So long term, we want to try to make about 20 million vehicles a year. Elon Musk also reiterated this target on Twitter when he said that Tesla, once again, should be able to deliver 20 million vehicles a year, probably before 2030. It may seem kind of crazy for a company that is really projected to deliver around 500,000 vehicles this year in 2020, that they will be able to deliver 20 million vehicles in less than a decade. However, Tesla has been growing very quickly and they're also building out a lot of manufacturing capability. When you look at Tesla's growth from 2015 to 2020, you can see the huge year over year percentage growth over the years. Tesla is also currently building several new factories and expanding their new factory in Shanghai. 
So if you assume a 50% year-over-year growth going forward for the next decade or so, it's easy to see that Tesla could meet this 20 million vehicle goal with this particular growth rate. So if you look at this chart with this 50% year-over-year growth rate, that would lead to around 19 million vehicle deliveries per year in 2029. In order to really get a picture of how VW's projections compare to Tesla's projections, let's look at these projections all in one chart. First of all, based on what VW has done for the first half of 2020, I believe they will deliver around 150,000 battery electric vehicles globally as an auto group in 2020. Tesla should be able to deliver around 500,000 this year. And as we mentioned, Elon Musk has gone on record as saying that Tesla should be able to deliver 20 million vehicles a year before 2030. VW has also gone on record saying that by 2028, they should have delivered around 28 million electric vehicles. Now, it's important to note for comparison's sake that when VW projects that they will deliver 28 million vehicles, they are talking about a period of time between 2020 and 2028. This is not 28 million vehicles yearly. If Tesla is indeed able to reach their goal of delivering around 20 million vehicles per year before 2030, somewhere around 2029 or earlier, that would assume around a 50% year-over-year growth rate. With the ramp up leading to this 20 million annual number, Tesla's total vehicle deliveries over this period of time and average per year vehicle deliveries when it comes to battery electric vehicles would still be far ahead of VW. So when you look at projections alone, VW itself does not even plan to be larger than Tesla plans to be. However, it's really not as simple as just projections because you need to have tons and tons of batteries. Elon Musk has talked about how many batteries are going to be needed to transform the world's transportation to sustainable energy. Now let's dive into the battery supply, the number one constraint for electric vehicles, and see if Tesla and VW will truly be able to deliver this many battery electric vehicles. We're going to dive in both the supply, of course you need a good supply of batteries, and then we're also going to talk about the cost of batteries and talk about who has the advantage of supply and who has the advantage of cost. First of all, let's talk about Tesla and their supply of batteries. In its current capacity, Tesla's Gigafactory in Nevada produces around 35 gigawatt hours of battery capacity per year. These numbers might even be up to 50 gigawatt hours per year, but really shouldn't be any more than that. They also currently purchase the 18650 cells directly from Panasonic, and they use these batteries for the Model S and the Model X. And also in China, they purchase batteries from LG Chem and also CATL for the Chinese-made Model 3 and soon-to-be Model Y. However, although Tesla currently relies on a lot of battery supply from their partners, Panasonic and others, they in the future are going to be producing a lot more of their own batteries. We learned about this in detail at Battery Day. At Battery Day, they laid out their plan to be producing around 100 gigawatt hours in 2022 and by 2030 to be producing around 3 terawatt hours of batteries per year. Elon Musk said that with all the efficiencies they gained with battery manufacturing and the actual battery factory itself, they should be able to produce one terawatt hour of battery capacity in a smaller footprint than their current gigafactories, which at their full capacity could produce around 150 gigawatt hours. And whether or not you think these numbers are crazy or not, I'd like to show you that this really isn't as wild as it may seem. Currently, the bulk of Tesla's batteries are being produced at Gigafactory Nevada. They also have a pilot battery line at their Fremont factory, and that I estimate will produce around 5 gigawatt hours of batteries this year. Going forward, Giga Nevada should increase the production because they're adding a new production line. The Fremont pilot line per Elon Musk should be able to produce around 10 gigawatt hours at some point. And I believe Giga Berlin and Giga Shanghai as early as 2022 could be producing 25 gigawatt hours of batteries or possibly even more. This would lead to over 100 gigawatt hours in 2022 as Tesla has projected. When it comes to Tesla's 3 terawatt hour goal, they will have at least 
five factories producing batteries to meet their needs. These will also be very efficient factories because of their new improved battery manufacturing processes. So with these processes and with these locations, a three terawatt hour goal becomes a definite possibility. So Tesla definitely has a clear path and a very clear plan on how they're going to produce enough batteries to deliver all these electric vehicles. VW, like Tesla, does work with other battery supply partners. However, unlike Tesla, VW does not have a lot of investment in battery technology themselves, nor do they have a lot of investment in battery factories yet, and so they're going to be more reliant on suppliers than Tesla. According to this press release, which VW put out in May of this year, the Volkswagen Group plans to work with the Swedish battery producer Northvolt, and they're building a battery cell production facility that will be producing around 16 gigawatt hours of batteries by early 2024. Although this is simply the initial capacity of this factory, and I'm sure it will increase over the years, this is a very small number, and this is in the future. This is four years in the future, and it's already small when you compare it to what Tesla is producing at the Gigafactory in Nevada. This same press release went on to talk about how Volkswagen works with LG Chem, Samsung, SK Innovations, and also CATL. So VW really seems dependent on their battery suppliers, and they really don't seem to be producing their own battery tech. So will VW have enough batteries to be able to build all these electric vehicles? They probably will, but they're going to have to pay a lot more for them, and they're going to have to compete with other brands because majority of these are going to be coming directly from these battery partners. This leads us into our next topic, and that is the cost constraint of batteries. At Battery Day, Tesla laid out their plans to have a 56% reduction in the cost per kilowatt hour of their batteries. Also, this cost reduction is not something they expect to see in the distant future, but I believe they actually expect this to be in pretty good volume production in roughly three years. In the near future, this will give Tesla a huge cost advantage over other manufacturers like VW who are dependent upon battery suppliers and cannot control the price this drastically. VW does not seem to have access to this kind of cost reduction, and so this is going to give Tesla a huge advantage. VW has partnered with a company called QuantumScape, which is working on solid-state batteries, which they claim should be capable of around 400 plus watt hours per kilogram in energy density. However, this technology is still 5 to 10 years away, even with VW's own estimations. Whereas Tesla currently has their dry battery electrode technology being inputted in batteries right now that they're producing and they have in quite a few prototypes. Tesla should also have these batteries in full production in the next three years or so. So in conclusion, I believe that Tesla will maintain their lead when it comes to battery electric vehicles for the foreseeable future. They have a big advantage when it comes to the cost and supply of batteries as we've shown. They have breakthrough battery tech that is not in the distant future but is really in the near future. And even when you take VW's own projections, they don't appear like they're going to overtake Tesla when it comes to battery electric vehicles. I do believe the VW Auto Group will be very successful and they are putting out a lot of good battery electric vehicles and I do appreciate that. However, I do see Tesla as remaining the leader in battery electric vehicles for quite some time. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like the video, please consider clicking that like button so other people can find the video as well. I also wanted to take a moment here at the end of the video to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and really help me make this content, these videos, and put them out for you. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you so much.